Hey, Orange One here with Dominic Clark and Michael Hill. Uh, we just last episode went down to Tal Madga, or I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyways, we went down to that little city and cleared out the area around the bank. There were still some zombies that were around, so we probably still need to do a little bit of clearing because I think that electric store might have some good stuff in there for us. Like sometimes they have CBMs, so we might go for that. But first, we gotta deal with this zombie that's right outside of our car. Yeah, you can hear it. It's just a zombie child, though. Um, let's see. We've got really high morale right now. But our UPS's, all of our tools with UPS power are not working right now for us. So let's go ahead and get UPS device. I am just gonna kill this one zombie. Um, really quick, and we'll get our UPS back up. When you have 100 focus, you should use it. It's it's never wasted. Because we already are 25% up from level 5. I think we're going to start getting a lot more experience from killing zombies. I really should loot that gun store. Let's go ahead and get the toolbox. And maybe the welder. Yeah, we got the toolbox and the welder, but we're going to need our backpack. That's weird, the color on that. Okay, um, let's see, and... Builder and goggles. Okay. We should be able to get into that gun store easily now. So let's go do that. Let's see what can we do here. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything from that, no. could have sworn that you could use the welder. No. Um. Can we try cutting the metal on here? Yeah, we can. Alright, we're just going to break in. We'll deal with the oh. we'll deal with the actual zombies that come when they come. For now, I just want to get some of the loot from here. Uh, there's nothing that I'm super attached to right now. FNP90, those are pretty good. But they have a very uh, uncommon ammo type. Looks like a really good shotgun right there. It's got magazines and it, it um, man, I'm taking that. That sounds like an awesome shotgun. <laughs> This is actually, what? This is valued more than the other thing.
We're gonna grab it though. Could have also jackhammered our way in here, but that has the possibility of having it all cave in on you. Can I open these doors now? Yeah, I can. Okay. Let's grab the cart then, and let's get some of this ammo in here. And these guns, actually. A UPS or a credit card around here. No, there's gotta be. We have to have cards around here, probably in here. Let's take these ones, that should be enough. Oh, we should have checked to see if they even had anything in them. No, they're all empty. That was silly of us. Eh, not super impressed with what we have here. I guess we'll just get all this ammo then. Let's also get this ammo here. You can never have too much ammo. In this game at least. I have not had that issue. <laughs> um, that's not really got anything. It actually has a fair amount of diesel in it. Got 14 liters of diesel. We could get some diesel. I think that I haven't looked at how much fuel I have in a while. <laughs> We're at ninety-four percent fuel. We don't need to get any more diesel. We're fine. I know that I could, but their containers take so much of your space. It's kind of a huge pain. Can I move as much of that as possible? Uh, can I take that and move some? Actually, let's move the stuff from there as well. And now these are opened up for whatever we want. Okay, and then we'll put the cart in here. Actually. I always feel like I'm going to leave the carts. And actually, can I get that UPS? Where did I put that UPS? There we go. I'll take that. And why don't we make ourselves a nice pie? Let's do a meat pie. No? Oh, we need to be over here to do the pie, because we can see it, everything and interact with the kitchen from there. Let's do another meat pie. Oh, we have some of our clean water as well. Okay. You know, we're still pretty hurt. I'm kind of surprised by how hurt we are right now. But with that sleep, we would have gotten healed a little bit more. 
kind of should loot those houses, but I'm going to make my way over to the bank, I think. I really want to see what's in there. I think as long as I take it slow enough, I should be fine navigating through this part of the city. I don't think I actually did loot the church, but the churches almost never have anything that's good. The cathedrals can have some decent stuff, but the churches, those ones, not really worth the hassle. Um, I think we want to slow down here. Go around, yeah, let's go around the house. So the only enemy that we've really encountered so far is a black rat. Okay. I think that's a Humvee right there. Yeah. So I used to have a Humvee. For my last character, I recognize that. I haven't seen a Humvee yet. It's kind of interesting. Let's park right here. I just want to just check this because... Nope, it's got no ammo in it. Okay. Um... We are going to want to get the, um, where is it, the jackhammer? Let's get the jackhammer. No, we can't get the jackhammer. Oh, it's because we've got, like, the welder and stuff. The toolbox, yeah. Let's put that all back there. Let's get the jackhammer. And the stethoscope. Should be all that we need. Um, what about, actually, let's also get the cart in case we do get some power armor. Oh, actually, I know what I need to do. I need to weld that. I <laughs> just put the welder away. Let's see what this bank's got for us. I actually get like pretty excited for breaking into these uh, these bank safes. Ooh. All right, well. We just caved a little bit of the roof down, but we're okay. Not too badly hurt, actually. I got a feeling that our oh, our cart's actually fine. <laughs> Why don't we get the uh... yeah, we'll get the fancy watch. Actually, no, we don't really want a fancy watch. We don't need it. Okay, there we go. Have underwhelming that bank. Maybe 
the bookstore will have something good or the doctor's office maybe our doctor's office we can uh, find the um, records So he actually got me pretty good there. Oh, it's because I've got this darn backpack on. See, when I don't have uh, that backpack equip like an idiot that zombie goes down pretty quick there we go actually yeah let's get the cornmeal because we can make some pretty good stuff with that It doesn't look like it's one of the super amazing um, electronic stores right there. It's something though. Oh, the zombies caved in the doctor's office. Lame. Okay, we did take some torso damage recently. Okay, well our our arm isn't increasing super fast. It's okay. I think we're gonna let uh, our friend take care of that survivor. Actually, there we go. I think at this point I'm starting to actually kind of understand why my character got so depressed killing that other human. Because we have encountered almost no <laughs> survivors. So maybe killing that one guy was kind of a messed up thing to do. Maybe. That might after, you know, almost a hall of humanity gets wiped out, killing a person might put you in a pretty bad mood. Oh, do I s Oh, I think I had the stethoscope in the cart, didn't I? Yeah, I did. There we go. Let's see, nope, nothing else. Xanax is okay, but if that's all we get. Tramadol, that's actually pretty good. That we could use for installing some CVMs easily. Alright, that looks... Like that's pretty much looted. And that, I really think that we're gonna get some good stuff in the library. Because we're kinda due for some 
some good loot. Uh, these actually sometimes have some seeds in them. Let's check the... Yeah, it's got cannabis seeds, like if we hadn't, hadn't found any before. The tomato seeds. One of the things that we need for V8. Uh, if I do recall, I think we already actually got tomato seeds from a zombie drop. I, have n I don't know that book. I... Yeah, we don't need any of that. <laughs> Arms and armor of Imperial China. We'll take that. It's kind of a cool one. We could have like a squad of people with their um, Oyoris and a squad of people with their um, Chinese armor. I'm not sure what it's called, but we could have like two different squads. Be kind of cool. Okay. I'll go ahead and put all this stuff in there. Why don't we kill these zombies? Oh, there was some. St we didn't grab all the loot, huh? Um. Yeah, we should probably do that right now. Let me just go ahead and have a look, see as to what we've got around us. We could get the yeast, maybe. And cornmeal. Oh, we didn't take those zombie corpses out. Probably do that. Yeah. Let's go take care of those zombie corpses, but it looks like... You know, we actually didn't leave an awful lot of... Uh, things around there that needed to be picked up. We did a pretty good job at that, by the looks of it. say that library's been looted. The pharmacy though we could check out maybe. Is there anything else that I would like to check out? Pawn shop and pharmacy. I want to see what's in the pawn shop. We could have some cool stuff. There will be some more zombies for us to get into combat with. Not that we should really push it with our current health on our torso. Uh, one on one with a few zombies, I think we're we're okay. We're actually two on one, but I am gonna get the driver out for this Kinderling. Explode. But we're okay. 
Is that... Yes, an electric jackhammer. I thought that was... That's awesome. We can't make those. But we only need one. Now we can UPS mod that and then we'll never need to get gas for... Really, I think anything. I think that at this point... We've gotten to the point where we can go like completely renewable. That's super cool. Well, the bookstore was okay, but that was pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go to the back here. Oh, we got antifungal drugs. Those are really good. That means that we could actually go ahead and fight the Micus. And, uh, I mean, you can't really beat it. You can only take out some places on the map but they you want to if you want to establish a base in a certain spot you want to definitely clear out the micas we didn't get this electric store did we no we didn't okay the radio is kind of a cool thing um, but it's only it's only a one way. You know what? We've been looking for a lot of copper wire, so we're gonna actually take a lot of stuff from here. I think, if not for its copper wire, for um, its lenses or something. And okay, that should be pretty good. And let's unload into the car what we have and maybe do some crafting. got everything that we got on the run in the car. Um, I did want to take those cameras though. Or I guess there was only one camera. I thought there was multiple cameras. Uh, let's see. Let's disassemble that. And then what else can we do? Uh, there was the cell phone. No, that's not going to have a lens. What would have a lens? I would take apart some of the stuff though. I don't think the flashlight has a lens. Um... I don't see any... Let's see spare parts. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to at this point. Um, let's actually get over here. So when we drop it, it goes into the spot. Um, you know what? We are going to disassemble this. It's not going to last too much, though. And the tablet will also disassemble. Um, let's see. Let's get the backpack back on. I do want to see what this opens up for me. 
For electronics, what are some of the crazy... Actually, could make ourselves an electric jackhammer. That's kind of funny. Um, we could make an electric chainsaw. Which we could use to like cut up trees and stuff. I don't know. I don't think we really need that. We could do that, though, to make our own... Um, our own fuel for our CBM. We just make like a ton of planks, but we could just disassemble them from houses, to be honest. We could make uh, light amp goggles. That's tempting. That allows us to do a uh, Rating at night a lot easier. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna make, I think, one of those. What else could we make? We could make a. Uh, what is that? Oh, that would be close to skin. Oh, that's interesting. Polyplastic chunk. I've never heard of polyplastic. Wow, that is a pretty cool item, but I've never heard of polyplastic. Can I make polyplastic? No. What? <laughs> okay, I think that must be something from um, PK's Rebalanced as well as this, because Mega Skulls or Mega Bears are not in the base game, I don't think. It's a pretty crazy... <laughs> Pretty crazy uh, helmet right there. What mods could we get? We could get iron sights. Yeah, we should probably make some iron sights. Let's see. Let's get some other mods on there. Um, maybe a stock might work. Get uh, an adjustable stock, I think. That'd probably be a good one. And then... Okay. What other things could we get on this? It says grip, but grip wasn't working for us. Maybe we just didn't have charge for it or something. Let's go ahead and see what grips we have around here. Doesn't have a slot, no. Did I try and make an ergonaut grip? Let's just do one really quick. It's not like we don't have the resources or the time. Yeah, okay. Um, accessories or mechanism. See, this is why I wanted those lenses, because you can make pretty good um, like laser sights and other things. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Have a little grenade launcher on there. Um, that's interesting. I've not seen that one before. Okay, 
I think that we can't really make anything else at this time. Not anything that I really want to make. Um, <laughs> I could make mutagen or plant mutagen, but I don't want it to be a plant mutant. We're going to leave the other crafting for now. Did we make another pie though? I think our character is pretty hungry. Let's make another pie. And why don't we also do some water? Okay, so we've got... Oh, did we leave our light on? It looks like we left our light on. Whoops. Should also repair the vehicle parts that are damaged. Still have a long rope. Actually, you know what, we should probably turn on the recharger for just a little bit. I think that everything else is fine, yeah. Looks good to me. Let's dump what we don't need here. Actually, I'd like to read a little bit more on circuits. So I'm pretty sure that we can get our electronic skill high pretty easily. It's just a crawling zombie. Okay, that's easy. So our electronics level is now at 6. That's pretty cool. I'm just curious if there's anything else that we could maybe make now. Uh, let's see, we could do... Oh, that's pretty interesting. Um, it's kind of like a Geiger counter, but it's like a watch. Oh, you know, we could take a security camera apart if that's if we want those uh, lenses. Uh, well, that's easy. Let's go ahead and go to bed for now. <sighs> Something's interrupting our sleep again. This is what happens when you try and sleep in a place with zombies. Actually, can I drop the backpack? Yeah, I can. Okay. Maybe we can get a little bit more sleep. Probably not. Could get a little bit more sleep. Okay. Okay, that hollow pierced my torso, but I think we're okay. Looking back, we are kind of dominating that zombie hollow. <laughs> Um, un unarmed is going up. It's not as quick as I thought it was last time I looked. Um, 
what should I do next? Feel like I should go maybe make my way to that bank. It's pretty lightly uh, populated area around a bank. And it looks like I'll be able to get to the ends of these roads pretty easily. I kind of like the look of that. Why don't we just double check that there's nothing else in this town. I'm not going to try and pronounce because I'm just going to embarrass myself again. Um, yeah, let's look in the pawn shop and then maybe make our way a little bit more. Let's actually stop running. A smoker. Let's get our gas mask on. I like the idea of me just like charging into some smoke and then just like kicking the smoker zombie out of the smoke. Oop. That hollow got me a little bit there. I don't remember them being able to do that much damage. Maybe they got rebalanced. We've got pretty decent morale right now. We're not even listening to music. So I'd like to use that morale. Okay, that hollow keeps on piercing my torso. That's not good. They actually hurt me pretty bad there. There we go. Good thing that we've got some first aid kits right now. Because <laughs> that may look like a pretty bad injury for us, but judging from what I saw with the first aid kit, we're fine. Yeah, we got plenty. Let's go ahead and use that on our torso, and we're pretty much good to go. I think we've got eight more of those right now. We might get more actually at the pharmacy. I actually Let's go ahead and check the pharmacy that was right here. I think I didn't even look in their um, vending machines. I figured that we were good on medical loot. If they have something like first aid kit or something in it. That black rat, I think, yeah, it's gonna leave me alone. Oh, V8, that's good. Um, and herbal tea, that's also good. I'll take both of those. Okay, nothing else though. No, no real loot. Okay, it's fine. make our way further down. And yeah, I do realize that we could probably go back to the base and harvest things, but while we're out here, we might as well check out the um, local banks. They're pretty close to us. Okay, well that was a pretty big bust.
Let's see that pharmacy. Oh, there's an eyeball. Why don't we take that out? I think they actually have high uh, quality lenses in them. I'm actually gonna pick that up. And put it in the car. Let's just clear out a few of these zombies and then we'll make our way out of here. we didn't actually get those shockers from the combat that we did earlier all around there let's go ahead and check that out really quick we'll get the card out just in case I think we'll probably just check out that battleground and that'll probably be the rest of this episode I don't know if we're gonna get to the exploring the new area just yet There's like shockers and like a sparker or something like that. This one there was like a sparker zombie or something. No, okay. Um, there were definitely shockers. And I think a fiend or two. Ethanol burner, nice. Uh, we are not going to install that on ourselves. But I th I'm not sure if it, which one's more, um, like efficient to have like the um, internal combustion CBM or the ethanol burner. Um, I think the ethanol burner. I mean. You, you can't eat your super valuable book with an ethanol burner. You just can't. It only turns alcohol into uh, energy. Whereas with the internal combustion, you can eat a lot of different things that would be really valuable and you would not want to eat. So I think I might upgrade to getting the ethanol burner. It would be worse for our health because we would be drinking alcohol regularly. But I think being able to shoot lightning out of your hands whenever you feel like it just having just have like a little bit of alcohol i think that sounds pretty darn amazing and worth uh a little bit of discomfort oh man we're gonna go buy a toxic waste dump that's not good There's a shocker that's down here. I think there was also like a fiend or something. Yeah, I think that was it. Maybe not there. The fiend might have been actually further down south. No, it looks like that was it. Okay. Now we get the bolts that are just random. That bolt there. And there was another bolt, I think, that was around here somewhere. I heard zombies around here. I was a little bit confused for a second there. Okay, 
Okay, let's go ahead and get back into the car. I think that we've got enough stuff from here to move on. Actually, could I um, get that broken iBot? Could I disassemble that? I probably shouldn't be going into melee against a fungal zombie, but. We've got plenty of antifungal drugs if we really need them. And I am going to make that mod. I think we should be able to now make... No? Why can't we make the laser sight? Oh, we need a soldering iron with charge. Where is the soldering iron? Let's get some batteries in there. Um, I think, yeah, that's what we want to get, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of crazy that it asks you if you want to use your plutonium when you can just use batteries. It's like, why on earth would I do that? <laughs> it's the worst idea ever. Uh, I didn't make those goggles, did I? Oh, I could get... That's kind of cool. So we could get free water if we wanted to do that. Nice. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Where was it? Yeah, I can actually craft a lot of different stuff now. That's pretty cool. Um, what was it that was... Man, I got distracted by all this cool stuff. I forgot what I was trying to get. So, weapons mod? Yeah. Well, we got this one. No? Doesn't have a slot for that mod? Okay. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> Should have probably checked that. Uh, we're fine for now. There was some... Oh, it was the goggles. That's what it was. We could get infrared goggles, line amp goggles, or swim goggles. I think I'm going to go for... Infrared? I think that would allow us to see zombies that we can't see in the dark normally. Um, and let's actually get a UPS mod on that. Let's get that on. Infrared goggles. Yep. Let's put those in there. So night raiding will be a lot safer. Actually, I want to get 
my V8 back. Can I have that V8? Yeah, I can. That herbal tea. Okay. I think I'm going to call the episode here, though. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.